Hi guys, hope you're well. Welcome to my channel, Hibs here. Today's video is going to be a review video on this uh, NYX Invincible Fullest Coverage, Fullest Coverage Foundation. And I really, I'm sorry guys, this is late. I completely forgot yesterday and I was out all day as well. So I wasn't able to upload. And by the time I remembered that I needed to upload, it was too late. So I really am sorry. I'm hoping I'll have a good filming day today. So I will have the tomorrow's video on time. I wanted to do this review because I've heard so much about this foundation and I wanted to try out for myself. As you can see, I got it in two shades because the medium beige was too dark for me and light to medium is like just the correct shade. It is a little bit too light, but just a teeny bit lighter, but it still works. Um, the only con I found is the packaging. I do like the packaging in the sense that it's a nice sleek, slim tube. I keep my foundation like this because of the tube um, format, just so it doesn't leak and go everywhere. But, maybe because I've had the medium beige one for a while, it is all over the kind of tube inside. So it's completely covered and that is a bummer because it's pretty messy. Um, the light to medium, because I have, I guess, have had it for less time, it's not as gross, you could say. But I do have, if you, I don't think you can tell, the seal is still in there at the bottom of the lid. Oh, like, yeah, in the base of the lid. So it kind of covers and I guess that helps. So I would say don't throw away the seal. Keep, you know, therefore it, there's less of a mess. Um, and you do really have to shake these well. But otherwise, yeah, that's, I guess, my main con of these um, foundations. So these are the swatches. Uh, light to medium on top and medium beige is on the bottom and I feel medium beige has a yellow undertone to it. I wore this foundation for around six hours and I did two layers. Um, I applied it using a damp makeup sponge like this. I just like shook it really well, the product, put it on my back of my hand and then dotted it around my face and then just blended it out. It really did blend out nicely, um, nice and smoothly as well. And I just found though that even though with two layers, it, it still didn't completely cover my face. So I feel it was, it's like a medium coverage foundation, not a full coverage. And with the two layers though, I felt my face looked a little bit powdery afterwards. Um, I didn't use any primer, I didn't use any concealer or any um, powder afterwards as well. I just moisturized my face using the natural Nivea Fairness Cream and that was it. Uh, just because I wanted to see how it performed without any primer or concealer. And I feel that this foundation, I do need a little bit of primer, especially down the center of my face because like, I, I felt like it kind of accentuated a bit of my bumps and my pores a little bit. But that's maybe, you know, just once I've used primer, that should be fine. Um, the blemishes, like I said, didn't really cover well, so I could just use concealer. Um, but otherwise, with one layer of foundation, I did notice that it did help even out my skin tone. Um, and it does, initially when you apply it, feel a little bit tacky, but after a while it goes away. So after six hours, it still looked good. It didn't look like it had caked up or, or you know, looked strange on my face. It didn't wear away. It looked like it lasted quite well. Um, so I'm pretty happy about that and it, it's a lightweight foundation which is what one of the main things I look for a foundation. I, I don't want to be able to feel the foundation on my face. Um, and I think that is actually about it. If I've left anything out I will put a blog post up for you guys um, and then you'll see pictures and stuff of how it looked on my face as well and you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah so I do like this foundation. I would definitely you know, continue to use it, especially because it's a drugstore brand. I, I can't remember how much I got it for, but I'll link it down below. I think it was like 30 to 40 dirhams. Um, it wasn't, it was, it was okay price wise. And um, yeah, I just, I feel it's, it's a good foundation, but it's a medium coverage foundation. So I hope you ha guys liked this video. Um, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried this foundation and how you have found it. And yeah, I will speak to you soon. Bye.